Good morning. of July Saturday morning and I want to talk about something that I don't I doubt if a lot of people have thought about but kind of came to my mind this morning and that is I'm going to set forth the presupposition that our memories are evidence of our election Our memories are evidence of our election. You might say, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, I'm going to read you some scripture. Hebrews 10.32 But call to remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated, you endured a great Call to remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated you endured a great fight of afflictions. Do you remember the first day or the, do you remember the time when you were brought to an understanding of predestination election? Did it have an impact on you? Well, I think that's what this is referring to here. Call to remembrance. The former things in which after you were illuminated. <laughs> okay. You were shown the truth. It's hidden from us for years and years and years. It was basically cut out of our Bibles, was it not? So our memories of the past and when we were first brought to the understanding of these things, we need to call the remembrance of those things. Psalm 77, 6, I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with mine own heart and my spirit made diligent search. You ever had that experience where your spirit made a diligent search? I know I went through a, quite a search of the scriptures whenever I was first it was shown to me these great doctrines. Second Peter 1.1 1, 1, This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Remembering our memories give us evidence of our election. Luke 1.54 He hath helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. Have you, do you remember the time when God showed you mercy? When you cried out to him for forgiveness of sins and there was great comfort and rest that came from that? Second Peter one thirteen. I think in me I think it me as long as I'm in this tabernacle to stir you up by putting you in remembrance. You know, everything that happens in our life God has a purpose for it in his providence. And I think it's very important for us to go back in history in our own personal history and remember the first time when we saw the truth of the gospel I can remember the first time I read John 6 37 all that the Father hath given him will come to him Psalm 97.12 Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. It's not our holiness. 
that we remember, is it? We have no holiness in and of ourselves. We have no holiness. But the psalmist says here, Rejoice in the Lord and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Psalm 112, 6, Surely He shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. Second Peter one twelve. Wherefore I put I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye know them, and be established in the present truth. We need to remember the things that we've been taught by the Spirit of God, the truth of God's predestinating, electing Sovereign grace. Second Timothy 1 6 wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands how do we stir up the gift of God that is in us by putting things in remembrance I think it is good that we constantly reaffirm the truth of grace of God we can't go by our feelings but we can go back in our memory and we can recall the great things God has done for us. You know. Why did God institute the Lord's Supper? Remember why he instituted the Lord's Supper? He said, do this in remembrance of me. Do this in remembrance of what I've done. Our memories are a proof of what God has done in our lives and even though things may get real difficult at times we can still have the memories of the things that God has shown us Isaiah 26 8 yea in the way of the judgments in the way of thy judgments, O Lord, have we waited for thee, the desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. Jude one five. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. It's important that we continually remember the grace of God and not only the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, but also the fact that He is an eternal, sovereign Lord. Luke 22:19. He took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave it unto them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. 2 Timothy 1.5 When I call remembrance the unfeigned love that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois and thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. John 14.5 26 but the comforter which is the Holy Ghost whom the Father will send in my name He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I've said unto you The Holy Spirit works in us to cause us to remember The things that God has done the truth of the gospel and the truth of these great doctrines 
Well, that's what's on my mind this morning. I think there's very strong evidence that our memories um, give us very strong evidence of our election. God bless.